I'm Eric Allen for KLCC. Filmmaker Shandor Lau may live in Eugene, but due to his global roots, he claims to be the only Chinese, Hungarian, American, New Zealander. His seven years in New Zealand produced adventures on foot, resulting in the documentary film Shandor's New Zealand Trail. That film will have a primetime screening on the Venture Channel this Thursday, August 8th at 6 p.m. He's also working on a forthcoming TV series and book called Shandor's Oregon Trail, which will take him on a 2,000-mile walk in the footsteps of the pioneers. His trail has taken him now to the KLCC studios. Welcome. Welcome, Shandor. Thank you, Eric. Well, the Oregon Trail is a documented pioneer path which helped bring what is often mislabeled as civilization to the West. Is there any parallel history along the trail that you followed in New Zealand? Uh, there's a lot of uh, parallels. I mean, history is one of my great passions. And there's there's a part that you'll see in Shandor's New Zealand Trail where one of the best secrets revealed to me in there is from uh, from Maori traditional beliefs that you spend your life walking backwards because you can only see what's behind you, not what's ahead. So your only guide to the future is the past. What motivated this journey that you took in New Zealand? This was Chandra's New Zealand Trail was my thesis film in film school at the University of Auckland and my my final project as a on my Fulbright scholarship there. I mean my motivation was the purpose of my life is to share stories of great adventures with my seven billion closest friends. And this was w one of the best uh, adventures I could think of. There seems to be a theme in the movie of people beyond and between cultures. Is that who all of us are in the new global village? I believe all of us were that long before we thought of this word global village. And I think another thing that's not as commonly thought of is that all of us are actually indigenous as well. It was not so many generations ago that all of us lived not very differently from the way Native Americans lived traditionally a thousand years ago or the way Maori people of New Zealand lived uh, it, with close relationships to the land, with much closer relationships directly with each other rather than necessarily through technology and with with a, a deep respect for the earth and all the other living beings. There's a there's one piece of Maori understanding that the that the earth and the sky and the forest and the sea are not just external things, but these are these are your ancestors and your grandparents. Whatever you do to them you are you're, you're doing to your own grandparents. Media is changing very rapidly and that affects what TV is. Talk about what the Venture Channel is in that regard. So the Venture Channel, where Shondor's New Zealand Trail is screening, is a new kind of convergence television. It, uh, the most common way for people in the U.S. to get it is through their Roku box, which is, it's like Apple TV. It's a box that connects the, your TV to the internet, but it's also available globally uh, through a number of on-demand services. So it's TV through the through the internet, but it's the same TV on whatever screen you would like. It's on your cell phone, it's on your computer, it's on your your television. I suspect you can even get it through your Google Glasses. And this is this is the way of the future for television. We're done with videotapes, DVDs are kind of over, and, and new media is essentially everything everywhere, which is what the Venture Channel is. What do you think the Maori think about internet on-demand streaming? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the Maori think is kind of like, there will probably be a very broad uh, spectrum of, of uh, views on that. But I, what I can tell you about how technology has benefited Maori people in many ways, for example, is this screen previously in New Zealand on Maori television, which is something that... You, you take a, a population that's dispersed over the country, as well as many Maori people now living in 50,000 Maori people living in Australia. And you have one TV station that's dedicated to Maori driven content and, and, and propagating the Maori language that, that was very seriously in danger not so long ago. But now you're, you have people creating uh, Maori media in the Maori language or dealing with Maori subject matter, and it's part of the mediascape that's accessible to those people, to, to young children who are growing up and learning a, a language that many of their parents did not know and, and are learning it from the grandparents' generation and have it part of, of a, a cool, hip, and fun media culture. Now that you've crossed the wilderness on the other side of the world, you're preparing for a parallel journey from Missouri to Oregon along the former Oregon Trail. What aspects of the history and the present are you uh, aiming to explore along that journey? So the Oregon Trail, I mean, it's 2,000 miles of, of rattlesnakes 
cholera and high velocity lead poisoning. And there are very real dangers associated with it. There was a school group, I think three or four years ago, when one of the children actually got dysentery. It's not just in the video game. She didn't die from it. Um, but the dangers will be worth it. If I die, I die. This is the purpose of my life here. And this is going to be, you know, it was the adventure of half a million lifetimes from the perspective of, of the emigrants who came from the eastern U.S. to the west looking to build something new in the Willamette Valley where they said it only ever rains at night and <laughs> that it's so abundant there that wild pigs r run around fully cooked with forks and knives sticking out of them so that whenever you're hungry, you can just reach down and carve off a slice. That said, there were many people who whose home this land was long before there was ever an Oregon Trail. And if you think the pioneers had it difficult, the Native Americans, their, their trail, they didn't have wagons, and they came across the land bridge across Siberia on foot. That was a great journey. Filmmaker Shandar Lau, whose documentary Shandar's New Zealand Trail will air on the Venture Channel this Thursday, August 8th at 6 p.m. Shandar's currently in the creation process of the forthcoming journey TV show and book Shandor's Oregon Trail. More information at ShandorLau.com, ShandorsOregonTrail.com, and on Facebook. More about the Venture Channel at ConvergeTV.com. For KLCC, I'm Eric Allen.